大家好，我是在美国教汉语的 Crazy 老师。今天 ，We're going to talk about how do you type 拼音 with the tone marks on your computer and with your phone. So let's go. On PC, it's pretty simple. I use this tool called Pinyin Editor. I can type the Pinyin. For example, 我叫杨林 I'll type W O. And then three, I represent third tone, and then Jiao, J I A, and Jiao will be fourth tone. So I add fourth tone to A, and then you just type four and then A. 我叫 Crazy 老师 L A third tone. So three, and then 老 and then 师 the first tone. And some of you may not. No, like where do I put the tone marks? Ah,、uh, the rule of thumb is on a o e e u u. So that's the order. Ah,、uh, when you if you see one, you see a. That's definitely on a instead of on o. But anyway, uh, if you don't know, ah,、uh, usually you can do this. So, for example, jiao, you can just type g i a o. And then you know it's four tone, so just say four. They will add it、uh, for you automatically. However, those does not always work with words like yin. If I say one, it doesn't do it. So instead, I'll just do y i e and then n g. Okay, 你学会了吗 And then you can just copy it to a chat or anywhere you want. So now let's move on your phone. So now I'm going to show you how to. Add those tone marks on your phone, and since I have an Android phone, they may not necessarily apply to you. So first, let's go to anywhere you can do the text. Okay, so here we will add pinyin. So for example, I want to just write pinyin. What I would do is write pin, and then long press on the vowels that you need to add the tone on. As you can see here, you can choose. Well, the only thing I don't like is the third tone. It's supposed to be upside down, but you have E sharp, second tone, and then fourth tone here, and that kind of third tone there. So you can just say oh, king, and then yin. Do the same thing, long press. Okay, so same thing. Let's do, ah,、uh, 电影 like a movie, 电 So it's fourth tone. The yin, yin, and yin, and just third tone. So I'm gonna add it on the e, long press the e, and then you have yin, yin. And now if long press any of the vowels, you're gonna see all those different options for different language, and they do have the four tones for the Chinese language. So give it a try, see if that works. If that does, you don't need any specific keyboard to do this. Last word. However, as a Chinese teacher and a native speaker of Chinese, I do not really encourage you to type in、uh, pinyin only when com in communication because it's as hard as you read characters for me to read those pinyin, especially without tones. <laughs> But anyways,、um, hope you enjoy learning Chinese and, and explore other different ways to learn. And if you know any better ways to type in your owning, please share in the comment. Want to know more tricks and tips to learn Chinese? <laughs> Subscribe Crazy Lao Shu. We'll see you next time.